All right, so what's up, Quad Squad fam? 3D printed related. We're on the P1P today. Wake up, what you doing? You want to get in the film? Yeah, he's a very photogenic dog. He loves the camera, you know? Right? I'm literally not even kidding. You should see these sneaker slipper f p pictures. He loves to use my slippers as my uh, as my uh, as sleeping pillows. These things back here, you'll see them right there. I saw them on my website if you want them. Anyways, so adhesion issues with your 3D printer, i.e. your P1P. Have you, like me, had a lot of adhesion issues with the printer? You know, I had to hop back into it because I was, I was stuttering. Anyways, so like like many of us, we think it's just the mat. So I went and bought one off of AliExpress and that AliExpress mat um, made a big difference. It was the, the gold PEI with a PEO on the backside, which is really cool to print on. Um, and that solved the problem for a while, but eventually I kept having adhesion issues again. So when I was having it the first time around, I reached out to P to Bamboo and you know, they, uh, it took them a while to actually get through the customer service. Like we've probably all experienced. Um, eventually they decided to send me a new bed, which I installed the new bed. I thought about posting a video about how to install it and how much of a deal it is, but I don't really feel like it's going to get watched a lot. So, I mean, if you do drop it down in the comments and I'll walk you through the whole process, if there's enough people that want it, then I'll make it. Um, and honestly, it solved all the problems, all the problems, literally it sticks every time it's perfect. Adhesion is amazing. Like I haven't had one thing fall or peel at all. Not even lying to you. I leveled it once and I haven't leveled it for weeks. You know, it, it actually, so I think their first round of vet beds ended up having a lot of warp. Like it was warped. It was seriously warped. Like I put a ruler across it and slide a paper under it with no problem. Uh, so anyway, so reach out to Bamboo, get your bed replaced, and don't try to print your arc enclosure until you get that problem solved. Honestly, I was going to make a video about the arc enclosure and how like a couple of tips. My biggest tip is if you start seeing a little bit of a lift, cancel it. Cancel it. You're going to waste so much filament. I probably re reprinted the corners so many times because of like warping and all that stuff. Just wait till you get your new mat, get it installed, and then you'll never have adhesion problems again, at least for now. Anyways, that's my video about it. Adhesion problems, call PMP, I mean, call Bamboo and get your shit replaced. Anyways, I hope you took something from it. What's your superpower? Mine's 3D printing. Create something from nothing. That's a merch. You can get it on my website, quadsquad.com. You can get slippers on the website. And yeah, I hope you keep coming back. Please, you know, leave some comments. Let me know what you think. You know, I want to hear from you. What's your next video you want to see? What do you want to hear? You want me to put the Insanity Automation firmware on my on my Sierra 10 Smart? You know, that was a popular video on my on the 10 Max. Anyways. Hit me up. Peace. Again, thank you for tuning in. I greatly appreciate it. Check out one of these videos if you want to. You know, check out my website. I got a bunch of cool shit for regular everyday people. And I got those sneaker slippers beside me. And those sold on my website. Anyways, hit me up in the comments. Love you guys. Peace.